Gukesh, today's game was very interesting because uh, you sacrificed an exchange right out of the opening. Going to the opening, uh, did the move c5 surprise you because knight c3 is, I mean queen a4 first, yeah. knight c3 is the more common move there. No, I, I knew this idea that you can give up the exchange and it's good compensation. But uh, like what he played, I, I'm sure I looked at it but I didn't remember it uh, during the game. But uh, yeah, I, I thought I reacted well, at least some some interesting stuff with bishop b8 was happening. And okay, it was, uh, I think we played like mostly logical moves and one moment where I might have had something was queen e6 instead of bishop e6, but, uh, but, but I was worried about uh, queen e6, rook d2 and I calculated queen e5, g4, queen h2, king f1, queen h1, king e2, queen a1 and here bishop g5 and with the idea of bishop e7 and I couldn't, uh, couldn't find uh, a way for black. Mm. I mean, I felt like there should be something but I tried uh, looking for looking for a solution and I couldn't find it. So. I'm still curious as to what, what is the move for black there. But uh, yeah, I knew bishop e6, he probably wanted queen e4 and it's mostly just a draw. But yeah, queen e6, I, ideally I would have liked to play queen e6 and just kept the game going. But yeah, as I mentioned, this bishop g5 idea was, uh, was too strong to me. When you play such a sharp opening like the Shweshnikov, there are always such uh, lines which kind of are uh, very theoretical and sometimes the opponent can also kill the game, right, by yeah. playing. Is that something that worries you when you are playing with black pieces or it's just part of the game for you now? Um, I mean, it's, it's a thing we all have to deal with, I guess. Like, I mean, you when you play like uh, very weak opponents, you can tend to risk uh, more, but okay, my opponents are quite strong here and uh, it's not like I'm uh, just playing solidly, I'm trying, but if, if the game is uh, uh, game is getting killed, then like not much you can do. So, yeah. And Gukesh, generally you don't do interviews during tournaments, so now that you're doing, uh, what, what has changed? Uh, yeah, I just thought there's no point in not doing interviews and I wanted to avoid this bad habit, so, yeah. Well, that's uh, very nice for us and for the viewers and your fans that they get to hear your thoughts after the game. And uh, solid start. Uh, wish you good luck for the remaining eight rounds. Thank you.